All right, YouTube, um, back at it again. Just got some of my parts back from the uh, from the sandblaster. Here's one of them. I got it. I already put some primer on that, some etch primer. I'm gonna go back over it with a little epoxy, just to make sure that everything is sealed up on it. But that's one of them. The the inner fender wells. I got the other one over there now. He's gonna put a patch panel in where the battery box go. And then uh, he got that one already blasted. So he did front, he did the bottom half of that. So I gotta go get some rubberized, like some rubberized coating or like some uh, some type of uh, chip resistant coating to put up under it. And this is uh, one of the other pieces that's been sandblasted. I'm about to get ready to throw some uh, epoxy primer on that right now. And this is another piece right here, my radiator core support all sandblasted like I said it was kind of eating up the rust kind of eating up right in that in that area so kind of glad I caught it right now so I could throw some epoxy primer over it kind of stop it from happening but like I said dude did me right I was gonna um, buy a new uh, inner fender well for 160 bucks um, but he, he gonna patch everything for me and uh, put the creases back in that need to be back in. And then uh, got it all sandblasted for only 80 bucks. So, you know, can't complain too much. But, uh, yeah, like I said, this is the, the inner fender well. Um, I did paint the chassis. Once again, stripped the whole chassis down. Um, then I repainted it. So, all right, just stay tuned.